This is my new little favorite devotional. I can't see it because it's showing the uh, blank screen. Third time's a charm. Here we are. We're live. <laughs> Yay. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Our webinar is now live streaming on Facebook. Sweet. All right. So welcome, everybody. It's Elise and Blair, and we are freshly newly. This is my new little favorite devotional. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. I'm You're like, gonna... what are you doing? Turn that off. Well, I was trying to make sure I'm tagged. You are. Okay. Hi, everybody. So I'm going to start my intro again. We're, listen, how many millionaires does it take to figure out Zoom webinar to Facebook live? It takes two, three times. Yeah. <laughs> A minimum of three attempts today, yeah. but we're here. So anyways, what we were saying when we tried to join you guys earlier is today feels like Monday to me. If it feels like Monday to you, drop a one in the comments because we had such an amazing weekend this weekend with our leaders, our team. We're going to talk about that. But then we spent an extra day just with the top leaders of our team to really strategize, plan, digest what we learned, and also take some of the questions that we asked our team this weekend and reflect on them for ourselves. Because sometimes as leaders, you don't take the time to do that in the moment because you're trying to help your team. So to me, today feels like Monday. So if it feels like Monday to you, pop a one in the comments. And if it feels like a Tuesday to you, pop a two in the comments. But we really just wanted to hop on here today and share with you guys a little bit about why it's so important to show up at events. First and foremost, our team is unique and different. And it's one of the things that I love the most is that Elise, as the person who brought me into the business that we're in together, really showed me from the very beginning that she wanted this particular network marketing business that she was starting to be her forever home. And if it was going to be her forever home and it was going to be my forever home in network marketing and direct sales, then it needed to be a place where we built the right structure or not structure. Um, the right culture. culture. Thank you. That was the word I was looking for. See? <laughs> the right culture for our teams. And that culture needs to be one of growing, one of learning, one of expanding, and my word of the year, abundance. And that's what I really feel like I got so much of this weekend. I got abundance in my personal life by seeing what's capable and what's possible. I got abundance in friendships. I feel like I got even closer to the people that I was already friends with and developed even new friendships with people who I didn't really know that well before. I had an abundance of learning and growth. I had an abundance of seeing the possibilities and I had an abundance of happiness. If you felt that you were with us this weekend, you felt abundance in any area, drop in the comments what you felt abundance in. And we're going to share just really quick. We're going to be brief today, a little bit about why it's so important to show up and fill up your cup. So at least I'm going to hand it over to you. Well, essentially we, when we first started this, this network, we as leaders came together and said, what is the most important <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Noah with Kitty. Um, working at home mom with homeschooling kids, right? What the what what freedom is this? It's awesome. But basically, we set the intention that we were going to be very, very um, how do we say? Whoops, I'm gonna put us on gallery view. There we go. Yeah. That we're going to be very intentional with how we build our culture. And what we wanted that to look like was we were committed to helping people live the life that they deserve. We're committed to uplifting and inspiring in the way that we show up in our business, in our lives, and in our communities. We were very intentional with writing out what were we all about and in doing so I feel like that has given us the ability to create experiences and when we go live that it, it's been able to create almost like a guiding principles for us to build a network that is powerful cohesive and so much like a family like we are all committed to personal development. That's another piece about what we stand for is we're committed to living our lives by design and really being intentional with how we show up on social media and in our everyday lives. So attending a live event, um, I, when I'm reflecting on years past is the time that I have noticed the most growth in my belief, whether that was a live event that we host as a team or that's a live event that we are t attending with Lavelle at our convention 
vacation or on a getaway. But what happens at these live events is you tap into people that have a vision for more abundance, right? More wealth, more happiness, more grace and ease, and just more. And the, the thing is, I feel like in our general culture, we're really surrounded by a lot of scarcity and fearful mentality and lack. And people operate from a different place when they're afraid, don't they? They make decisions differently. They speak differently. And remember this, your words are seeds. So whatever you're thinking is forming your life, right? So whatever you think, whatever you speak into existence is creating the fabric of your life. I like to kind of think of it as a quilt. And um, ironically, I have one here on my guest bed in this room. I'm looking at it and I, I feel like every decision, every thought, every word that we speak is a stitch that creates this beautiful quilt. And over time, that's what you stand for. That's what you represent. That's your reputa reputation. And so at the live events, you get to tap into your higher self, meaning you get to see the potential of what's possible, not only in what's possible in your business and with success, but in growing your self-confidence, in serving others, in helping other people live the life that they deserve. What do you think about that? I love that. It's so true. And as I was coming home, I actually shared this post um, with, a, with a small group that I have on social media. And it was a message I had said, I was missing my kids' basketball games yesterday. So some of you might have missed things with your family this weekend. Right. It might have made you feel guilty. Or yeah. maybe you didn't come because mm -hmm. you felt like you shouldn't leave your family or you shouldn't leave the you know take off of work or whatever those right. things were. And as I sent this message to my husband, I said, I'm so sad I'm missing their games Monday. I'm, I feel really bad. And he said, don't feel bad. You're creating a legacy for our family. Yeah. One that our children and their children will benefit from for future generations. Mm -hmm. So I just really hope that you guys take that and write it down and remind yourself because the weekends like this are what you need to fill yourself up, to yeah. be able to go out and pour into your team, to pour into the new people that you want to share this product with, to pour into the people you want to share this business opportunity with. And if you don't have that, you don't have a group of people to connect with that have the same common thing, you will feel alone on an island. You will not meet the greatness that you were made to meet. And so I want to challenge you today, write that down. I am creating a legacy for my children and for my future children's children for, for generations to come. Mm -hmm. Okay. And maybe you're not a parent and you're like, Blair, that doesn't relate to me. You're creating a legacy in this world. Yes. It might be because of the product that you share with somebody and what it does for them that you might not ever hear about. Right. right. When we give, we don't always hear about what happens with the money we give. Right. We, we are giving to nourish right now. We might not know who that feeds exactly, right. but we can rest assured and in strength that it is feeding 14 meals a day to people yeah. who need it. So I just challenge you to make sure that you're always committed to being. And the next thing we have is obviously Dallas, a conference coming up in April, April 26th through the 28th. So be present, be ready, do whatever you need to do to get there. Because one of the biggest things that I get out of these weekends, besides my own personal growth and learning more, which I love to do, but it's also the fact that I'm around those like-minded people, right? Okay. And being there to being strengthened by each other. Yeah. And I want to, I want to remind you, cause you brought up nourish. I want to remind everyone watching that nourish is an incredible way for you to give back. I have mine set up on my auto ship. Um, in fact, over the weekend, Blair said, let's, let's um, take a call to action and everyone go and order nourish right now as uh, just really a Thanksgiving that we're a part of such an incredible community. And I, I, we, we brought in a thousand more meals that we gave to families, right? That are the most, they're, they're, they are the most malnourished people on the planet. Think about that, you all. Think about the the pure variety of foods that come across your radar every day. And mm -hmm. a lot of them that you eat probably aren't very nourishing because we have such an abundance and abundance and abundance that, that, that junk food is readily available too. Um, and I think that this is a great time for you to go and log into your, your cloud account, put Nourish on auto ship. I, I, I always love it. I challenge people from a money, money mindset point of view to pay it forward, right? Because what I've found is the more I have given, 
the more I receive in terms of the financial blessings. And the way that I give in the world is I, I give to the poorest of the poor. I take care of the, the sick and the injured and the orphan. I love to contribute to our Nourish program, like I said. So if this isn't something that you've done before, if you haven't been a big giver, Lavelle makes it really easy for you to give big and create huge impact. Every single dollar of when you purchase Nourish goes to purchasing those meals. And Lavelle takes care of the distribution and getting it over to the people it we don't even pay for that when we purchase the nourish it is 100 given to those who are the most hungry in the world these are people who literally do not have a meal in a week's time like this just blows my mind and i love that we are part of something so huge so comment below if you have set nourish up on your auto ship or if you have ordered nourish and I know Lavelle has said that they are going to do something really incredible for us at some point in terms of the distribution and we'll get to hopefully be seeing it firsthand. And that really lights me up because I'm just such a giver at heart. And I love the motto that our, our team stands for, which is thrivers give big. We give mm -hmm. big because we deserve to give big. Right. It's an incredible opportunity to be part of. So anyway, I appreciate all of you guys tuning in today. Blair, do you have any closing thoughts? Nope, just you guys, my closing thought would be to take, if you did go this weekend, take time to really go back and look over your notes. Mm -hmm. And if you didn't go this weekend, you know, it's not something that can be explained. So put on your calendar to make sure you're going to be in Dallas yes. and make sure that you take that time to be around other like-minded people. Find those people this year, commit to finding five people that you're going to surround yourself with to uplift yourself and be inspired and motivated to push yourself to the next level and whatever that is for you. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. And thank you to every single one of you have, who have made the decision that you were made for more, that you have decided that you are part of a community. And let's be honest, communities can have struggle. And that doesn't mean things are falling apart or the sky is falling. It just means like <laughs> we're human and we have struggle and there's going to be conflicts and personality conflicts and different agendas, et cetera. That doesn't mean that this is not the right place for you. That is a growth opportunity. So anytime that you face a challenge, I invite you to get out your journal <laughs> and ask why it triggered you. And then you'll come with your solution. I know that you will. And remember, those who show up, go up. So if you're ready to take your life to the next level, keep showing up first and foremost for yourself. Take ownership of the life that you have created and the life that you are in the process of creating for generations to come. So thanks for tuning in today. We look forward to plugging into you again soon on a live video. Have a great day. Bye. Let's see, how do we end it? <laughs>